Gentlemen, you cannot do the same thing that they did in yesteryear and think that you can get away with it. It's a different time. I was reading a story about Phil Jackson, and Phil Jackson was largely rumored to be having a lot of different situations and even divorced his wife because he was one of the playboys of the NBA. Phil Jackson, like, <laughs> what is he like? nine time 10 time nba champion or something like that one of the most decorated coaches in the nba he is largely known uh and i was actually looking at um chris broussard and rob parker talk about how phil jackson and how people were documenting in their books about the promiscuous activity of phil jackson and then as a matter of fact you also got to take into consideration that phil jackson um was dating Jeannie Buss, who was now the owner of the Lakers and the daughter of the guy that owned the Lakers in yesteryear. Those days are over. You can forget it. Stop comparing yourself to the men of yesteryear. You can't. It's a different time. It's a different day. Social media. It, you think that it's smart for you to be shooting your shot in these chicks DMs and let's just say hypothetically you do get into a situation or you have to nurture the relationship or link up, right? Because you then have to talk to her or you got to talk to her on the phone or you got to FaceTime with her or you got to text her or, you know, even if you, you know, find some way or some app to be able to mask different things, somehow, some way, technology is so advanced today and it's only going to get better to where they catch you. Like, she's able to record you. If she's not able to record it on that actual device, she can get another device and record that device or record your, vo your voice and all of that other type of stuff. And it's just not worth it. The amount of work that it takes in order to cheat, especially as a guy with some kind of visibility. Now, for normal guys, listen, you may still have a chance. But anybody that has any level of visibility, and I'm talking about from us little old YouTubers all the way up into... Um, people that are coaches and NBA players like Udoka and all that type of stuff. Listen, if you want to live that life, then you probably just going to have to stay single. And I was talking to some guys the other day. I said, yo, nobody is tripping over Leonardo DiCaprio, but Adam Levine is being thrown under a bus right now because, you know, he was he's with a chick for eight years and he got kids by her and all of this other type of stuff. And your public image largely largely feeds into you know how you are represented in the eyes of the people that support you you know and people are unwilling to not have the the or separate the man from the music or the woman from the from the talent and the art and you just can't separate it we see what's happening with Ari spears right now right Ari spears and it's funny because all of the skeletons eventually come to the light which is why I think I'm the smartest man in the world, which is why from the very beginning, I've always lived my life like an open book and it's just easier to just move without any kind of problems or, you know, to showcase and highlight the things that you overcome or the issues that you're going through before everybody else starts to highlight it for you. Because if you're going to be a public figure, all you got to do is say something to piss somebody off. And what we know, especially with regard to politics, entertainment, all of that is half the people are going to love you and half the people going to hate you. And usually if it's any tide on either way, it's usually towards the hate column because people are waiting for you to mess up. And so why give them anything? Why even listen? You got enough, enough problems just being a Tiffany Haddish, right? Tiffany Haddish did her little dirt and then she caught the shrapnel from Aerie Spears. You got enough problems just dealing with the shrapnel that's going to come along with being associated with certain people when they get caught up in some mess and then you're gonna go ahead and hit the nuke button on yourself by also putting yourself in that position you got to be more proactive you got to be more proactive and that if this is not the life that you're trying to live then you're gonna have to be very very careful about what it is and you doing and how you moving and then more importantly just stay single just chill and that ain't even working no more because he was with Nia Long for an extended period of time and they're not even married, and he's still catching a shrapnel. So I guess you're just going to have to swap him out like Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio is rumored to have an age limit. Once they hit 25, you got to trade it in for a new model. Leonardo DiCaprio leases his women. 
He leased his chicks. He not trying to be no owner. He not trying to repair that engine when it get. Nah, listen, when you get to a certain a certain level and you ain't trying to live that life, be Leonardo DiCaprio. Just chill out. Ain't nobody preventing Leo from getting his bags. He got, he, he never really been involved in no scandals or no problems or no trouble. He just out here living and having a good time. Leo was out here uh, calling people niggas on Django and ain't nobody tripping. They're like, good job. All because... He just, he said, yo, I'm going to live this life all the way to the fullest and I'm not going to commit to none of that trash. And so you can't hold me accountable for something that I'm not signing up for. That's, that's as real as I can put it. For it's as real as it can get. Leo was out here on Django calling people niggas because that's just the role that he signed up for. And ain't nobody tripping about it because Leo ain't out here married and he ain't in no long-term relationships. Meanwhile, Udoka, this fool... Not only did he go and get him a side chick, allegedly he got a side chick from a high person that's high up's wife inside of the organization that he works for. What? He is beyond dick discipline. I thought I was going to talk a video about dick discipline. This man is way beyond dick discipline. This, this man need a, a psychotherapist slash prayer leader in his life because none of his homies or nobody around him was giving him any kind of advice on how he need to be moving more effectively because Jesus Christ, I mean, if you're going to move, at least move a little bit more strategic than sleeping with the wife of a high executive of the person that you actually work for, that's what? What, you don't think that that's going to come back to bite you? And you know, once you start getting involved with these people, you can't turn it off. You can, listen, friendships, it's hard to get away from phenomenal friendships with like your homies and stuff that you've been riding with for an extended period of time because as soon as you see me like ah nah you know he was cool you know what i'm saying and you trauma bonding and getting caught up with these chicks man it's not worth it it's just not worth it so if you got any skeletons in your closet you might as well clean that closet out right now get rid of them hoes come from under that regime come from that problem Get up out of there and ain't, don't be trying to get caught up in that foolishness because is it worth the bag? Is it worth your bag? Anything that you do, start to evaluate. If it seem a little sketchy, if you about to go into the wrong neighborhood, just be thinking to yourself, is it worth the bag? Is it worth parking my car in this particular parking lot because it may get a little ugly over there? Or, or you take the chance, you take the risk, you roll the dice. <sighs> the risk ain't worth the reward. I'm going to tell you that. So listen, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Um, in addition to that, email me at antondaniels413 at gmail.com. Um, if you need to get in touch with me, I'm going to set you up for a Zoom call or a personal call. And we're going to get it popping. But I'm just saying, man, it's just not worth it. At least for me, it's not worth it. I don't know. Maybe you want to exercise your options if you have any. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.